Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, happy Monday. Welcome to the Morning Life Scope with True Heart Speaks. I am Dietra True Heart, your life purpose generator, purpose provoker, and I speak life mentor. <clears throat> helping you get out of your own way and get to the business of living so that you can do life well. And the way we do that is helping you to get unstuck so that you can get started. Hey, sis, how are you? Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, Periscope. Good morning, Instagram. Good morning, everybody. Hey, Trish. Good morning. Hey, Michelle. Good morning. Come on in. Give some hearts. Say good morning. Let me know you are here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Hey, Debbie, good morning. Good morning. Hey, Janique, good morning. I saw the pictures. Hey, brown eyed, good morning. It was beautiful. Deanna looks beauty, brutiful, brutiful. Good morning. Hey, Amber. Good morning. Good morning, Nina. Good morning. Hey, Awoken Warrior. Good morning. Today is our Monday motivation. Good morning. Hey, Michelle. Good morning. Hey, Kita. Good morning. Hey, 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 hey. See, I am updating my website. Good morning. Oh, you know what? That is right. Um, this is wrong. I just did this wrong. Good morning. Thank you so much. Hey, Sarah, good morning. Hey, everybody. Hey, Ava, good morning. Come on in. Invite your followers if you're on Facebook. Share if you're on Periscope. Swipe right on the iPhone and swipe swipe up on the Android. Double tap the screen. Let's give some hearts. I am just um, quickly updating uh, some, some information on my website. And uh, I think I just did something wrong. Good morning. Let me do this really quickly. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How is everybody this Monday morning? Did you all have a good weekend? Let me do my shares. So those of you who are just joining me, again, I'm Dietra Trueheart, your life purpose generator, purpose provoker, and I speak life mentor. My job is to push, provoke, and propel you, help you to get out of your own way and get to the business of living. Why? Because most times we do work well, but we don't do life well. We do ministry well, we don't do life well. We do community work well, we don't do life well. Um, from us, it's probably about 15 minutes away. Um, good morning, Sherry. Good morning, everybody joining in. Um, you even do family well, but you don't do you well. And so, you know, my job um, is not only to teach you how to live, you know, live life, but to live life well, right? Um, in addition to that, um, my job also is just to check you, right? Um, whether it's, whether you're a leader, whether you're a woman, whether you're a student, uh, whether you're an influencer, whether you are a career or professional woman, or whether you own your own business, um, my job really is to is to check you, to help to keep you accountable, to give you daily nuggets. We're here every Monday through Thursday from 7.15 to 7.45 for the Morning Life Scope. And um, you can catch the replays on Periscope, uh, Facebook, and YouTube. Hey, Felicia, how are you? Good morning. Um, and you can follow me on all social media platforms, Google+, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Periscope, Pinterest, YouTube, all that juiciness. Um, I am just about everywhere. You can find me either at Dietra True Heart, True Heart or um, True Heart Speaks. So double, let's double tap the screen. Let's double tap the screen. Double tap the screen. Let's see, where am I? Um, I can't find myself on here. Oh, here I am. 
So let me do my own sharing of my own page. Um, and tell me how your weekend was. Comment below in addition to giving me some hearts. Um, tell me how your weekend was. Good morning, everybody. Yes, today we're talking. Today is our Monday motivation. So um, I'm asking the question, are you coachable, teachable, trainable, checkable, flexible, and adaptable? And we're uh, talking about that. It was something that I posed in my private Facebook group, which if you aren't a member and you are on Facebook and you are a woman, um, specifically a woman of faith, you want to join the I Speak Life Society. It's hashtag I Speak Life Space Society on Facebook. Send me a request and I will let you in. Um, and so at any rate, it was something that I shared. Hey, Reese, good morning. And so we're going to talk about that today. Um, and I'm going to actually take it a little bit further. Hey, Lori, good morning. Hey, Lindsay, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am sharing supernatural acceleration manifestation of the most high God. Oh yeah, I received that. I received that. Now I will say this in my, my wisdom over the years, I would say, um, Nina, that I want to make sure also that I'm ready. Hey, Sharon, one of the things that I found is, is that we pray for supernatural acceleration and manifestation of God to do something, but we're not ready, right? And so this is really going to go into our teaching today. Are you coachable, teachable, trainable, checkable, flexible, and adaptable? You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, we pray for these things, but are we ready? Do we have the right people in our lives? Hey, AZ, good morning. Do we have the right people in our lives to be able to help us, to be able to check us, to be able to keep us accountable? And nine times out of 10, the answer is no, we're not that capacity. Capacity, right we want to expand that capacity we want to be in a space where we can embrace right supernatural acceleration and manifestation we want to position ourselves for everything that God has for us and part of that is being coachable teachable trainable um, checkable flexible and adaptable right we want to position ourselves for that you know we want to be ready for what it is that we're asking God for and a lot of times sometimes we don't even really know how to position ourselves which is why it is important for us to have coaches and mentors and accountability partners um so let me finish let's do keep double tapping hey evangelist Beth how are you um good morning everybody joining the morning life school please make sure um, you share today is going to be good 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 it's gonna be juicy juicy Yes, yes, it is going to be juicy. Good morning. All right, let's see here. Um, what else do I need here? So let me make a couple of announcements. So, um, the Push Into Purpose Masterclass Series is now $97. The 77 ended yesterday, and so um, I'm actually updating my website as we speak. And so after the web, after this, you'll be able to register. Am I live every Monday? Yes, I'm live every Monday through Thursday. Every Monday through Thursday. Good morning, Dr. BJ. Good morning, Dechel. Good morning, everybody joining. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, I am on every Monday through Thursday, 7.15 to 7.45. You can come and get your uh, little morning jolt of inspiration, life checking, um, sometimes, you know, accountability, um, sometimes chewing out. Um, I never totally chew you out, but sometimes whatever God gives me is at that point, we're like, ooh, I needed that. Okay, let me get myself into gear, right? Um, the other thing is, is uh, the LifeScope Masterclass Early Bird Enrollment. It uh, it ends on Friday, so you have until it says I don't have fifty dollars. I'm out of here. Well, it's not fifty. It's not a hundred ninety dollars to stay here. It's free to stay here, but to register for my masterclass is ninety seven dollars. Um, and so, if you don't have fifty dollars, maybe you should register for. She said it is chewing out. <laughs> I love it. Um, you should register for the masterclass, which is thirty seven dollars. Um, so let me just put this in here. Um, good morning, Halis. Good morning. And, and I promise you it's worth it. Promise you it's worth it. Uh, if you are not investing in yourself, whether it's through books or anything, um, you need to, you need to stay here. Hey, Carmel Delight. Good morning. You need to be here. This is the place for you. 
So again, you can go to trueheartspeaks.com forward slash push into purpose. That's the letter N, the number two uh, for the masterclass series. Uh, that's the one that's the $97. There will be a two pay, a biweekly two pay of $57. So your best bet for that is to sign up on your pay period. I was telling my, um, the last set of clients um, that we had students for that class, um, I had a lot of people who did the the pay, right? The payment plan because they couldn't do it in one, one payment. Uh, in one in one full payment and so because it's by it's bi-weekly you can do 57 on one payment and then it'll automatically come out in two weeks um in another paycheck right and then it'll go up on uh june 25th to 147 which is the regular investment rate right the regular uh, rate to enroll and then that you can do for 47 dollars but it's weekly so four weeks of 47 dollars right so at any rate um you can also you so you can go to trueheartspeaks.com if you're on instagram you can click my uh link tree link and everything will pop up and so you can click whatever it is that you want to register i believe the link um i don't know if the link tree link is in my periscope but i'm going to put that in my periscope because you only get one link and so you can register you can click on that and register for what you need to um if you want to register for all of them i would say you know sign up for the master class this week and then next week um sign up for the master class series because it's four weeks right um and you've got time we don't the master class series doesn't start until july 10th and the life scope master class is june 29th and you can get all of that information on my website trueheartspeaks.com forward slash discipline for this month's last um life scope master class which is called be disciplined or be defeated and so we're talking about discipline all this month um and so these conversations everything that i'm teaching um is all juiciness right so let me just uh, make sure we have i've shared and i want to get into teaching I want to put my timer on for 10 minutes and dive into, um, let's see, um, all right, all right, so I think we're good. If you haven't um, shared and invited, please do so, but we're going to get started. So um, double tap the screen. Let's do hearts of worship. Double tap the screen. Do hearts of worship. That's how we open up our scopes, right? Hearts of worship. We want to give God um, honor, glory, and praise. Hey, bro. How are you, Jermaine? Good morning. Um, we want to give God honor, glory, and praise for this day, right? So we are grateful. We're grateful. We're grateful, right? Um, let me just tell y'all real quick. I'm not even going to get into the specifics, but let me just tell you how great God is. Um, there was a shooting on my street on Saturday night. I don't even know what time it was. And we were, hey, Fee, how are you, love? Uh, we were knocked out. Like, can I just tell y'all that the hedge of protection is always around us? Like, I just had to give God extra glory yesterday um and last night you know just thanking god throughout the day like first of all not only did we not hear it but we were not affected i mean it was further up our street but at the end of the day like you know just the fact that you know people were calling and my phone with my phone is never dead but my my husband was using my charger so my phone was dead so i wasn't getting any phone calls i wasn't getting any text messages so we should just be double tapping the screen for protection right we don't know how god is protecting us we don't know how god is keeping us safe we don't know like there are things that are happening to other people that should be happening to us and it is not happening to us and so we should give these, these hearts of worship is all for him right for us to be able to collectively say lord we thank you for protecting we thank you for providing we thank you for restoring we thank you for transforming we thank you for reviving we thank you oh god for just your grace and your mercy and your favor for keeping us we thank you for this new week we thank you for this new day right when we talk about 30 days of thanks when we talk about the fact that being thankful is not optional it is a necessity it is absolutely a necessity it is not just needed when when things are going great it is needed when you're going through when you are in the valley of the shadow of death when you are in the lion's den when you are in right when you are in um the mouth of the whale like at that point you should still be thankful right we still have to have a um a, a praise right a praise a thanks a pr appreciation we should have that on our lips in our mouth at all times lord it's not the way i want it to be but i thank you anyway lord things are not going the way i want it to but i thank you anyway god is not what i expected it to be but i thank you anyway the day didn't turn out how i want it but i thank you anyway i'm not sure right yes right protection favor praise god for his his uh covering right being thankful is absolutely necessary right it is a necessity 
it is a necessity. So let me put my 10 minutes on so that we can jump in and, um, and I can talk a little bit today about today's Monday motivation, right? And so I'm just going to tell you that today is probably an ouch. So if there is an ouch, you can put hashtag ouch or hashtag juicy, right? Hashtag ouch or hashtag, hashtag juicy. Y'all know juicy is my word, right? So we're talking today, right? Are you coachable, teachable, trainable, checkable, flexible, um, uh, and adaptable. And so last night I had checked in with my private Facebook group and I shared a few questions to them. Um, and really I just asked them, I've been in a space where, um, I've been under my pastor for literally for five years, but the last two years really under his leadership, um, as I have transitioned to, and really it didn't turn, it didn't, it, um, wasn't a, a, that plan, but it was, wasn't his plan, but God's plan that now as a, as I started out as a volunteer, that now I'm running our student ministry and, um, in a space where, I have learned so much from him. And I've always, it's funny because I've always talked, you know, um, about leadership and character development, even when I was doing student programs. So it's interesting how stuff has kind of come in full circle for me to be in a space where I'm going to be teaching this more, right? And so if you are in leadership, if you want to be in leadership, and remember, if you were with me in January, um, if you were not, go back to the um, the videos and check out the Living Leadership playlist um, because we talked about living leadership. And so you don't necessarily have to be in having a position to be in a space <coughs> to lead you are leading now right you are absolutely leading now you are leading in your family you are leading um at your job people are watching you there's a group of people who was assigned to you you are leading but the other thing is is you have to be careful if you are leading you should also be following there should be somebody who you are accountable to. There should be somebody who is pouring into you, somebody who is training you, somebody who you who are um who is checking you, right? We talk about the light checks. And for some of you, that's me on a daily basis. Like you're here, um, you get your light checks, you get your accountability for me. Um, I totally understand having a virtual mentor, right? And so if if that's me for you, that's great, right? If not, you need to get somebody. Sometimes it could just be through books for the longest time. Like when I, I had mentors, but I would look at people like John Maxwell and T.D. Jakes um, as mentors, virtual mentors. I would buy their books. I would read their books. I would watch them, right, when they would speak, right? And so one of the things that I shared was be careful of um, be careful of shunning your mentor and those in authority over you simply because they say something you don't want to hear. Sometimes they have wisdom beyond, beyond where you currently are. Their job is to shorten the learning curve for you. And so that was the first point that I made um, into my group. And I said, who are you accountable? Can they teach you? Can they coach you? Can they stretch you? Can they move you? And can they check you? And so if you don't have anybody in your life who can teach you, who can check you, who can transform you who can stretch you um, who can move you right if you don't have anybody in your life then what you're gonna stay at a stagnant you're gonna stay stuck you're gonna stay stalled because you can only take yourself so far my husband and I in um, an art hall we had um, conversation yesterday and we were talking about basketball and we were talking about you know some of the greats in basketball and we talked about the fact that you can only take yourself so far and I said you know it's great that some of them are talented but let me tell you that having a coach changes everything and so when you look at um, somebody like a Phil Jackson who was probably one of the greatest coaches um, that people talk about now I'm not a basketball person and there might be greater coaches but I do know that Phil Jackson was able to take um, the teams that he was over, no matter where he was, and he was able to win with them. And so for some of you, you will not be able to win by yourself. It will be because of who you hook up with and who you allow to mentor and who you allow to pour into you to be in a space to take you to the finish line and to help you get over that hump, right? And so if you do not have somebody who you are accountable to, then you need to check yourself because you're not really as ready as you think. Like you're again, your talent can take you there, but you need coaching to be a, be able to take you to the next level, to be able to um, sharp right iron sharpens iron, right? To be in a space where somebody who can pour into you. And um, there's a saying that says that you can't see outside of the frame. You can't see the picture outside of the frame because you are the picture. And so you need somebody who, hello, magic 95. How are you? 95, seven. You need somebody who can, see outside of the picture who can see outside of the frame and look at things from an umbrella perspective and give you their perspective who can shorten the curve on some of the things say say okay listen I've been there I know what this is like you don't have to go there you don't have to go through that 
right? And so here's the deal. I know you all like to think you've got it together and that, you know, most of us think that we got it together. We think our ish don't stink. We think that, you know, we can we can do this thing on our own, right? And sometimes you have to. Like, sometimes you got to get to that point where you can, before you can get to somebody who can say, hey, I see something in you. I want to connect with you. Or you say, hey, can you mentor me? Like, sometimes it's one way, sometimes it's the other. But I've realized over the years, that you are only as good as your mentorship and your training. Some of us like to think that we got ourselves there by ourselves and that that may be true, but the real MVPs only get to where they are with help. <clears throat> no man is an island and they ha all have mentors and they have coaches along the way. Everybody, right? If you think about the greatest athletes, they have coaches to help them, right? They have coaches to sharpen, right? To, to smooth the rough edges, to help them to become who they need to be. And so I know you say you want someone to pour into you and to help you along the way. But what happens when what they're saying doesn't sound good or feel good? What happens when your cute little bubble gets a burst by those who whom you are under authority? Right. What happens, um, you know, when you get to a space where you're you're thinking like, OK, you know, you think that they're supposed to tell you everything that feels good. Not so. If you get a true mentor, you get a true accountability partner, you get a true coach. They're going to check you. They're going to check who you are. They're going to check your character. They're going to check how you think. They're going to check how you say they're going to check how you feel. They're going to check how you do things. Right. Because as an accountability partner, a coach and a mentor, their job is not to coddle you. Their job is to correct you their job is to help um, as, and to be a catalyst to be able to catapult you into your next level so um, it says we should all be under someone's authority and we should be subject and accountable to someone why because as great as you are there's always room for growth and improvement you don't just want um, a yes man or a yes woman in your corner to be able to tell you everything that you want to hear I know that that might stroke your ego I know that it might make you feel good, but it may not be good for you. They might be leading you somewhere that you don't need to be. And the part, funny part is, is even the yes men and the yes women know the answer, but they won't say no to you because they know that you don't want to hear no. An accountability partner, a mentor, a coach doesn't care about your feelings. They don't care about your ego. They're more concerned about your future. They're more concerned about your protection. They're more concerned about your elevation. And so to be in a space where you can be accountable to somebody and somebody can check you and say, hey, where are you on that? What, how, you know, what's happening with this? How far along the way are you? Don't do that. No, listen, let me help you out with this. You need that. You want people who will tell you the truth. You want people who will check you. You want people who will who will be honest and transparent with you. You want people who will correct you, but with love. One of the things that I have had the honor to, to see specifically through my pastor is my pastor will check you real good. Like he don't have no, he don't, first of all, he's not a messy person. He does not like mess, right? And so the second thing is, is because he does not like mess, there is a certain way that things, um, you know, that, that things have to be or whatever. And so when he's checking you, hey, Ruth, good morning, love, congratulations on your website launch and everything. The event looked awesome. So um, he has a way of checking you. And here's the thing. He doesn't care how it sounds. <laughs> Literally. Um, it, and, and he most times, like if it's not something like super major, he will come in and he'll say, hey, listen, let's sit down. Let's talk about this. You know, and he'll ask, how do you think things went? How do you think you did? How do you think this was? You know, what do, what do you need for me? And then he comes in and says, OK, so next time, here's what you need to do. This is how this needs to go. We can't do that again. That right there, you need to make sure that that's in order. He sits down and he really um helps and let me tell you when he needs to let the fire run um and he needs to let it out he will there's no listen there's there's no qualms about it in his mind he don't care literally he don't care so let me close with this it says um who are you accountable to who checks you who calls you out on your mess who loves you enough to coach you mentor you train you stretch you move you and check you who loves you enough to do that right who do you have in your life who will do that? And if you don't have anybody in your life, I would just say for the meantime, just join me every Monday through Thursday because I don't have any problem doing it. I don't have any problem doing it. Um, if you need to work with me where there's some things that you need help with, and here's the thing, there's nothing wrong with needing help. There's nothing wrong with saying, listen, this is where I am. This is kind of what I need strategies on. Um, how can you help me, right? 
And I'm here to do that, right? I am here. That's what I do for a living. I am a strategist, a speaker, a coach, um, an author, a teacher, a strategist, right? And I like to look at myself more as a strategist than a coach simply because I want to be able to give you strategies. I want to be able, again, to coach you along the way, but I want to give you things that get you moving, right? The strategies that I give you, I want to get you moving. Um, This is not um, excerpts from a book. This is excerpts from um, the True Heart Speaks um, the, um, divine downloads on who are you accountable? Uh, are you coachable, teachable, trainable, checkable, flexible, adaptable? Um, and so if you just missed the juiciness that I just dished out, I want you to go back, check the replay. It is healthy correction, Ava, right? Very good. Thank you, Collective One. If you just missed it, it says, because teaching sound word, yes. So um, if you just missed it, I want you to go back and check it out. I just literally closed out. My 10 minutes is up, and I have a minute to pray. Y'all listen. Y'all keep me in prayer because I'm working on being done by 745. So um, good morning, everybody. Hey, Michelle. Hey, everybody who's just joining in. Make sure you share this right. Share, share, share. Somebody needs to see this. Somebody needs to see this morning motivation. And let me just tell you, the next few Monday motivations are really going to be about training and coaching you and asking certain questions and really checking you. Makes no sense for me to be here and, and, and warm you up and get all warm and fuzzy and all that juiciness. And you're not in a space where you're held accountable to be able to move forward and do some things. That is my job, it says, because I buy every book you suggest oh i love it motivated to transform yeah this is not a book this is literally just teaching that um that god gave me um last night to be able to share this morning so if nothing else go back take notes and answer the questions right and just again if there's an ouch you can say hashtag ouch hashtag juicy but more importantly share this right um when it's when the recording goes back up Make sure you share this with everybody you know because I'm I'm learning that people don't like to be checked. People don't like to be disciplined. People don't like to be corrected. And and I've learned that um, I'm not, you know, I think it's just ego, the reason why we don't like to be checked or corrected. But at the end of the day, you you have to ask yourself, like if you want to go to the next level, you need to position yourself to be in a space to allow somebody to make divine deposits in you and to be able to correct, to discipline chest ties if need be, um, to be able to get you on the right path and to help you to literally shorten that learning curve so that you can get to the space that you want to be not only quicker and faster, but without some of the bumps and bruises. So with that being said, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time and this space. We thank you for the Monday motivation. We thank you, oh God, for um, this this message today on accountability, on coaching, um, on mentorship. And so we just thankful that today we can really take some time to ask ourselves, are we coachable? Are we teachable? Are we trainable? Are we checkable? Are we flexible? And are we adaptable? Um, if we are in a position where um, we can't be accountable to somebody and we can't do the work that we say that we're going to do and we can't allow somebody to teach us and coach us and train us to stretch us and even move us and check us then we're not really ready for the next level because there's always um a space for somebody to be able to pour into us there should always be somebody who can hold us accountable somebody who can mentor and coach us who can stretch us and so lord we're asking oh god today that as we reflect on these questions, that we reflect on this message, um, that if our ego is in the way, help us to remove it. Help us to get out of our own way and get to the business of living. Help us to get out of our own way so that we can be teachable, trainable, checkable, flexible, adaptable, and coachable. So that we can be in a space where we can get what we need, where we don't think that we know everything, but that we can have people who can pour into us. My God, Lord, I thank you, oh God, for those who pour into others, but don't necessarily have somebody to pour into them. And so, Father, I'm asking that you would reveal them and let them be here. Let them be here every Monday through Thursday to get teaching, to be in a space where they can be accountable, to be in a space where they can get something, where somebody can see things from a different vantage point, um, but to connect in the name of Jesus. And so, Lord, I'm just thanking you, oh God, for mentorship. I'm thanking you, oh God, for coaching. I'm thanking you for being our divine coach when we didn't have anybody in the meantime while you were sending somebody our way. We're thanking you for checking us. We're thanking you, oh God, for stretching us and moving us and um, causing us to be adaptable and flexible in a space where everything didn't work out the way we wanted it to but it worked out the way you planned. And so we're thankful, oh God, that it is not our way and not our will and our plan, but your way, your will and your plan. 
And so we give you honor, glory, and praise because we understand that in order for us to be able to operate in the fullest capacity of who you've called us to be, we have to be coachable, checkable, teachable, trainable, flexible, and adaptable. We have to be in a space where people can call our mess out and we're not, you know, our little feelings are not hurt and we're not wearing our emotions on our shoulders and we don't have thin skin. Build thick skin in us. Build resiliency in us, oh God. Build in us, oh God, the ability to be around other people who sharpen us, other people who call our mess out, other people um, who love on us, right? And so we thank you, we praise you, we magnify you in Jesus' name. Amen. So hopefully this was really good for you guys. Hey, Kelly, good morning, love. Um, how are you? So yes, yeah, so please go back, check this out. Please share it. Um, once the 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 this this uploads onto my YouTube, um, onto my computer, I'll put it onto my YouTube page and I will share it because I do know that there are people who are not on Pinterest, Instagram, or Periscope, but who may want to check out this video. And so, hey, Damon, thank you so much. Um, the truth just set us free. <laughs> Absolutely, Antoinette, right? We have to. We got to be in a space. And here's the thing. Even the best leaders, I am sure, and I not even I'm sure, I'm positive because I've read his books. Even John Maxwell, who is the leader, the leader, the guru of leadership, he even has mentors. He even has people who pours into him. So I don't care how high you go up. I don't care what level of leadership and position you have. If you don't have somebody who you are accountable and who, who you are under authority to, then you are only, you are only as high and you will only go as high to the level of which you have somebody you are accountable to, which means if you don't have anybody, then you have already plateaued. You've already plateaued because there are some people who can see things that you can see. There are some people who have experienced things that you have not experienced. There are some people who have wisdom beyond their years that can be able to pour into you. And so if you don't think that you need that, and let me just tell you, don't be afraid to pay for it. <coughs> Everything that you get is not going to be free. You will get some really great mentors who will pour into you, who will sow into you, but you will also have to pay for mentorship. You will also have to pay for accountability. You will also have to pay for coaching and strategy. And so never be afraid to invest in you because you are your best investment. And God wants a return on his investment. He wants to make sure that you are taking your talents and you are multiplying them. You are not burying them. You are not hiding them in the dirt, but that you are multiplying the two into four or the five into 10. It doesn't matter what it is. If it's one and multiply it into two, but use what you have. All right, I'm done. I'm done. But yes, so don't forget to register for this month's um, Life Scope Masterclass, which is June 29th. You can go to trueheartspeaks.com forward slash discipline to register. Um, and then also, um, and the early bird registration for that is $37 until Friday. So you can go and you can register all the way through until Friday. And then the early bird for the Life Scope, um, not the Life Scope, but the Push Into Purpose Masterclass series, my four week masterclass. Good morning, Janice. How are you, sunshine? The my four week um, masterclass series is taking place July 10th. And so you just missed the early, early bird, which was 77, but it starts 97 today. And you will have, be able to do a two pay $57 biweekly, right? And so I just made a suggestion at the beginning of the video that you can go on ahead and um, sign up on your payday and just, you know, 57 this payday and then 57 another payday. And so I'll talk a little bit more about those um, tomorrow. Um, and maybe even later on, I might just do actually a, um, I might do like a webinar uh, call, like a conference call. So if people have questions about the push into purpose, um, I might do that. So, um, but that actually the 97 is all the way until June 25th. So you got two weeks to register, but I wouldn't wait. Like, if, you know, cause we know stuff comes up. And so if you got the money now, make the investment now before you go and spend it on, you know, some good old food, which I love food. So I'm not even going to be mad at you if you do, but then you'd be mad that you missed out. Right. So you've got two opportunities to work with me. You've got um my master class um at the end of the month the life scope master class which is 37 and then you've got my four week push into purpose which right now is 97 with a two pay of 57 so um and all of that information is on my website right um i will put it here on facebook so you all can see the links and you can register but yeah so you all have an awesome day it's supposed to be beautiful today here in buffalo so make sure you enjoy the weather. I'm not sure where you are um, all over this world. So I will say I, I need to start saying greetings instead of good morning because I know that there are people who watch all times of day. So uh, greetings, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, 
Good day. Good night, mate. Um, I'm not sure where you are, but I love y'all. Y'all have an awesome day. I'm going to go get my little bambino up and ready for school. And I'm looking forward to enjoying this day. It's just, I love, I'm getting my backyard ready, y'all, so I can have my little office in my backyard and do some work in my backyard. I just love being outside. So I love you. Goodbye. And have an awesome Monday. And we'll pick up tomorrow with our conversation on discipline. We will continue that conversation. If you have not checked out the first week, it was good. It's been good. Go back into the playlist, uh, True Heart Speaks um, playlist on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash True Heart Speaks forward slash videos. And you can check those out. Um, and then there, I believe they're also on YouTube and Periscope as well. So have a good day. Thanks, um, Evangelist Beth. Good, good morning. Have an awesome day. You all have an awesome day. And goodbye.